What are users and customers? A user is an individual who uses your product or service without paying any money. When you use Skype to make calls for free, you are a user, just like when you make a Google search. A customer, on the other hand, is somebody that pays money to your company. This could be a premium user for Skype, a brand buying ads on Google AdWords, or simply a parent buying a toy for their kid. Why are they important? Customers and users aren't always the same person, and when this is the case, it's important to correctly identify them as they will have different behaviors, expectations, and understanding of your product. If Twitter or Facebook decided one day to charge a subscription fee, they would probably see a rapid decline in their user base, as users expect to interact with the platform for free as they are not the customers. Separating potential users from customers is just the first step in your path to generating revenue. It is very important to focus your efforts only on those people that are the most likely to use or pay for our solution, which at this stage are very few and with very defined behaviors. We refer to them as early adopters. Early adopters. Early adopters are people who have a problem, are aware they have a problem, are looking for or have tried solutions in the past, have a budget to try a new solution. These attributes make them willing to change their current behavior and try your solution to see if it's good enough to solve their problem. We target these individuals because they are the most likely to try a non-finished solution and their feedback can be invaluable in shaping your product features and pricing, for example. If you want your product to reach mass distribution, you need to first start by identifying a group of early adopters and building a solution they are happy with. Persona Canvas Finding your first users and customers can be a daunting task given your initial lack of information. A great way to come up with target groups is to create personas, which are representations of your target customers. Creating personas involves researching and outlining their goals, pain points, behavior, and demographic information. For more details about personas, check the resources section. Examples. A dentist needs an appointment scheduling plugin for his website. He researches solutions, then buys an annual license. In this case, the user and the customer are the same person. What happens if the same appointment scheduling software is purchased by a purchasing manager at a large advertising agency to facilitate internal meetings for the development department? In this case, the purchasing manager is the customer, and the users will be the developers. In other cases, a person can be a user and customer at different times whilst using the same product. With Skype, for example, you can be a user and make free calls and occasionally buy credit to call landlines, becoming a customer, just to switch back to being a user. Check out the links in the description for content from the best industry experts.